the Boston Celtics. Did you hear it? Racism in NBA arenas. It's prevalent. I mean, remember Magadouche? It was actually we were kind of having fun, to be honest. I just told him, I'm like, just sit down and ice your knees, bro. And he turned to me and he's like, that's heat, that's heat. And I'm like, well, you're going to need it. Not what he said. A young man and his wife in the stands told me uh, to get in on my knees like he used to. And for me, that's just completely disrespectful to me. Um, I think it's racial. Um, I think it's just inappropriate in a sense of um, there's no protection for the players. Which prompted this. And we dug into his history, calling Westbrook a classless piece of shit, echoing Donald Trump's racist rhetoric of whole African countries, and sharing a photoshopped image of Colin Kaepernick. Westbrook's been racially abused before. And now we have the Toronto Raptors as Pascal Siakam, the top man for the most improved player award. It prompted tweets from Fred Van Vliet, a pivotal player for Toronto, and Siakam himself with the eyeball emoji. Some articles point towards the fan yelling for Abdul Nader's attention. However, this is something the National Basketball Association cannot look past. Divisive rhetoric is the component to Donald Trump and his alt-right, neo-Nazi, tiki torch-holding, MAGA hat-wearing, very fine people of supporters. He spearheads the climate of racism. Back in the day, the N-word was hurled unceremoniously at NBA games. Did you know the NBA had quotas for teams? Teams signing black players from the stands to the executive suites the players have always been oppressed this is just another form Draymond Green even admitted it the times are getting worse how frequent or infrequent has it been of fans like crossing the line often yeah. misery loves company I've gotten the n-word all of that he said athletes are just not protected and he's right because fans as Mike Conley puts it they don't see you as people when you walk on that court for whatever reason they say whatever they want is this uncomfortable to talk about sure but uncomfortableness is an important element in the discourse that leads to change call it what it is greg popovich did we live in a racist country that hasn't figured it out yet even if it angers some people you know, the point is that you have to keep it in front of everybody's nose they understand it still hadn't been taken care of and we have a lot of work to do there is a divide for fans a ball player is not viewed as being a scholar, an entrepreneur, an artist, or even a philanthropist. They're viewed as one singular thing. Are you a basketball player? I said, no. That's what I do. But that's not what I am. And that's exactly the point. That is why I make these videos. Athletes no longer shut up and dribble. They should not be defined by their sport, rather by their character. Pascal Siakam is the latest example of racism in sports, where fans applaud citizens of society for their world-class talent, but confine them to that box. The National Basketball Association must protect its players. If not now, when? If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content, like TYT Sports on Facebook, and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com rick.